So welcome to our quick and simple guide on painting Napoleonic Austrian line infantry. In this video I'll show you an easy and efficient technique to paint these miniatures fast and get your miniatures and your army on the table. And if you haven't yet please do like and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that uh, you'll be alerted every time we upload. Thanks guys. So we start off by undercoating with grey although you could do it white straight away. Um, I just went with grey because it gives you that differentiation and a bit of shadowing. Then what I did is I used Ice White from Game Color and I just dry brushed quite heavily over them. Um, that way you're picking out the uh, the arms and all the features while still leaving that sort of darker grey in the recesses. Although at this scale I do give them a wash later on so if you had just gone with the white undercoat it probably would still be fine and the wash will do the, drop, the job for you um, yeah do whichever works for you so just take your time and make sure that you do catch all of those edges next up we're going to use game colors black and we're going to use that for the boots uh, their headdress and any sort of uh, ammo pouches and that sort of thing that the miniatures have I've mentioned it before, but the game Color Black is good for leather work because it does have a little bit of a shine to it. Um, at least that's what I think anyway. <clears throat> so I like my troops to look quite smart, like they have only just gone into the field rather than uh, months and months in the field and they're all dirty and everything's falling apart. But if you prefer them to look grizzled, go for it. Yeah, as I was doing a bit of research for the Austrians, um, I've never really played Austrians, uh, painted them or done anything to them, or really knew much about it other than they uh, were an empire. I know basic amounts about the Austrian Empire, but not a huge amount. But looking at the uniforms, they're actually a very smart army. I'm uh, pretty impressed. Uh, for the muskets and their backpacks, I use Leather Brown from Game Color. Again, it's a bit of a brighter brown, um, could have used chocolate brown, but because of the size of them, you do want some of the features to uh, stand out a little bit better, so I would always say go slightly brighter. I'm interested to get some of you guys' thoughts Often when you, or at least when I research um, the period, you kind of see the French army coming up and just decimating everyone. Um, and you kind of end up with this mindset that the Austrians were rubbish, the Russians were rush rubbish, uh, the Prussians were living on past glories and actually weren't that good um, until they'd taken a few beatings and then learnt from their mistakes. Uh, question is, do you think that the Austrians and the Russians and the Prussians of the earlier Napoleonic Wars actually were that bad? Or do you think it was just the fact that the French were using brand new tactics, um, which just sort of yeah, overwhelmed uh, their traditional way of doing things? Uh, but when I look into it, yeah, you kind of think, from a traditional standpoint, most of the armies did the traditional manoeuvres and whatnot. And then the French come along with this massive sort of column attack just to try and break through uh, the enemy and smash a hole through them, which worked pretty well. Uh, so do you think that was more the sort of decisive thing, or do you think it was lack of quality of the other armies? Because we do see later on that by 1813, for instance, the Prussians, the Russians, the Austrians, they have retrained, the, Sp the Prussians especially have... Uh, overhauled their whole hierarchy in the military and high command and they have seriously learnt from their mistakes. So next up we do the bayonets. Uh, I use silver from game colour. Again it's quite bright, stands out nicely. Um, <clears throat> And then when we put the wash on in a little bit of time, it'll just dull it down just a slight amount, but still stand out nicely.
And I guess the same question as asked about the quality of the soldiers could also be put onto the generals. If they were fighting each other, say Austria versus Prussia versus Russia, and not fighting Napoleon himself, um, were they actually that bad? Probably, they were actually pretty reasonable. They just hadn't fought against someone like Napoleon before. Next up we do the skin tone, and so for that I'm using Flat Flesh from Tamiya Color. Um, I've said it before, but just reiterate, with Tamiya, I find if you leave it out whilst you're painting, it can uh, sort of go a bit gloopy, so definitely worth putting a little bit of flow improver in with the paint just to stop that and make it um, work effectively. Otherwise you can yeah, just move paint all over the place and it kind of blobs and yeah, can be a bit of a mess. But it is a nice colour, so that's why I keep using it. And so if there's any of you who are currently collecting an Austrian army, or are planning on starting an Austrian army, it'd be quite nice to hear below what it is that inspired you to go in that direction and do the Austrians. Um, what scale are you doing them in? Are you doing 6 mil, uh, sort of Perry miniatures, uh, what are they, 28? Um, or something in, in between? And what are your goals with your armies? Are you planning on building them large or are you just going to keep them um, small and playable? Yeah, it'd be quite good to have a bit of information in the comments below. For me, at the moment, I'm just going to build the Austrian army large enough for the rule set that we're building. So that will usually comprise of between four and six infantry regiments on the table. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. And also two cavalry usually it's one or two, and one or two artillery pieces. So not a huge amount needed just to get started. Uh, back to the miniatures though. Uh, so after we've done the flesh, we then apply the wash over them. So I made a dark brown with a little bit of black, so quite a dark brown wash just to go over them. And then we come back and start picking out the details on them. So for their facings I chose yellow for these chaps. So I use system three yellow which is just a craft paint that I had lying around but it does stand out quite nicely and at this stage what we try and do is, or I try and do anyway, is use the same colours that I used for the foundation layers again to do the highlighting um, I just find it keeps it simple you don't need to have lots and lots of different colors to do all the different variations uh, we just put sort of gray then white do the wash highlight in white um, simple for the uniforms for me I enjoy painting but I also need to keep it simple and fast um, these miniatures aren't just going to be going into a competition they are for the tabletop so for me it's about getting a good quality finish but in a realistic time frame and now we're going to do the final touches I find often when I'm painting my miniatures until you put this sort of uh, shako plate on and do that those touches of bronze um, and even on some of the ammo pouches they'd have like a, a cartouche marking uh, which would be like a brass cap until you put those bits on the miniature isn't quite alive and then you put those on and it just seems to come alive I'm not sure what it is whether it's just my own expectations or whether you guys witness that too when you're doing your miniatures but yeah I always like this stage it's just one of those things you need to have there a steady hand when they're six mugs. You don't want to make the whole shako turn bronze because you blob it too hard, but it's good fun.
Also, it'd be quite cool if you do have Austrian armies to take some photos and then upload them onto the Facebook page so that we can all have a look at how everyone's miniatures are doing. do now is do the flocking and the miniatures are pretty well ready for the table. So I hope that you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Please leave some comments below and until next time guys keep wargaming and take care.